back to this holiday video i'll be giving y'all 10 editing apps you should use for your youtube channel now the purpose of this video is because i've been on youtube for a long long time and i just feel like there's so many people who don't know about these great apps or they probably do but they don't know about the features or you know how to use it and stuff like that so in this video i'm not going to tell you how to use it but i can make a whole separate video if you need that but i will just be giving y'all the 10 editing apps you should use in one website that you should use that can really enhance that could really take your youtube channel far so yeah let me go ahead and share these details with y'all so y'all can get to it but anyway let's go ahead and hop straight to the video so the first editing app that i chose was canvia i use canvia personally i use it for my bad backgrounds my thumbnails all that stuff but now i'm about to read the benefits to y'all to you know using canvia um canvia has many templates to choose from like business cards it has logos it has youtube thumbnails it has youtube banners the transparency tool and it's budget friendly uh, i think monthly it is 4.99 and annually i know it's like 100 and something but it is budget friendly because now when you think about the video editing apps nowadays it's like 50 something dollars so canvia is definitely budget friendly but i don't have canvia pro i share with someone else so um yes it's budget friendly it has great backgrounds it's great for business logos it's great for youtube thumbnails it's great for youtube banners that's what i use to make my banner that's what i use to um, make my youtube thumbnails so i definitely recommend recommend canvia 10 out of 10 for canvia because hopefully i'm pronouncing it right but 10 out of 10 for canvia because i use it all the time and i don't just use it for youtube i use it for like um my future businesses i use it to you know enhance my photo editing and stuff like that so yes canvia use it okay all right the second one i put was photo photo has many shapes to enter your pictures in it's great for youtube banners and thumbnails you have control over the settings which is your images sizes and you can install fonts on the app and add text to the pictures all the apps that i'm about to tell y'all about i use every single last one of these apps so i know that they're good i know that they're great some may be better than the other but i use all these apps before so if i keep saying they all have great use for youtube banners and youtube thumbnails is because they all do so yes i definitely recommend that y'all use phone because i use phone like for definitely for like centering my photos centering my text words i use it for sizing on my pictures because you can put in a custom size to how you want your picture and it could be for your thumbnail it could be for your instagram story you know if you're an influencer you can do those type of things I also do it they also have the little tilt thing the little curve that you can use to like curve your words and make it like more you know appealing to the eye so i definitely recommend photo because photo has many features you just have to go and look for yourself you have to go and explore it for yourself but it has many features that all these apps are free so it's not like you gotta pay for them and so yeah i definitely recommend that y'all use photo and going to, even to photo y'all i was talking about how you can add fonts you can add your own fonts to it and this goes into my next app which is actually a website and it's called thefont.com on this website, you can download many fonts and save them to your files and add them on your photo editing apps if applicable. You can for sure use Fonto for editing fonts. I have many fonts on photo, on photo. You don't have to use the fonts that they give you. The fonts that they give you are not bad, but if you don't want to use those fonts, you can add your own. And the font.com is definitely a great app if you want to explore many fonts. They got the bubble text, they got sophisticated looks, they got the Vogue, they got all types of fonts that you would like. So I definitely recommend that y'all go try out the font, okay? The next one is CapCut. CapCut is great for editing videos. I use this to edit all my videos and it has many great features including speed adjustments, adding photos to your videos. You can add your own music. You can link your social media to it for TikTok sounds. And it also has many stickers you can choose from and so much more. So CapCut, I use that to edit all my videos. Like this video that I'm about to edit now, I'm using CapCut, literally. So CapCut is a great app to edit your videos. It's a great app to just use in general. And it has many effects. You can add your photos to videos. You can um, slow it down. You can speed it up. You have so many features when it 
comes to CapCut. I feel like CapCut is the best editing app out right now to me personally because this is all I use now. I definitely recommend that y'all use CapCut to edit y'all videos because I feel like it provides so much. And guess what, y'all? It's all free. Like, y'all, it used to cost a lot. Some video editing apps does cost. They still cost today. But CapCut is free and they got all them good features. So use it while we have it because they might be putting stuff up there because so many people use it now. They might be putting prices on things. So use it while it's here to your advantage okay so yes definitely use CapCut. the next one is snapchat you can use snapchat for filters for your thumbnails and you can also use it for better quality if your phone camera quality is not so great i know that i use snapchat for this thumbnail because i picture quality it's not it's not that it's bad but i feel like it looks better when it's on snapchat so if you want better camera quality and you don't really like your camera quality then you can definitely use snapchat i definitely recommend that you use snapchat for better camera quality and then it also has filters if you want to add filters to your thumbnail so i definitely recommend snapchat if you do not use that for your camera quality because if you don't like your camera quality definitely go to snapchat and going into my next one the next one i said was imovie imovie is another editing tool that you can use to bring professionalism to your videos you can cut trim and rearrange videos to your preference me personally, I don't really use iMovie like that no more because, you know, we have so many other editing apps. But I haven't abandoned iMovie. I just don't use it like that because I still have it on my Apple laptop. But that is a good app as well. If you don't want to do too much editing to your video, you just want to, like, rearrange, trim some videos. You can still add text. You can still, you know, do voiceovers and stuff like that. And so I definitely recommend iMovie. You know, if you want to bring more professionalism to your video, if you want to bring more craft into your video, if you just want it to be like very professional, I definitely recommend iMovie because iMovie is very, very good. It also has good, great fonts as well, but I haven't checked the updates because I haven't been on iMovie in so long. But if you go on iMovie, you will definitely see what I'm talking about when I talk about professionalism and just being able to cut, trim, and rearrange your videos. So definitely use iMovie. I definitely recommend iMovie because it helped me in the past the next one y'all i chose was instagram instagram is great for filters but it's also great for collages and they can help you bring professionalism as well to your thumbnails because of their sophisticated fonts and backgrounds so i just now got off instagram i just got done making a collage and typing text it looks so sophisticated when you do that especially when you do it to your youtube channel especially when you do it to your youtube um, thumbnails it can also help with that and if you are an influencer you should definitely use instagram collages to make like a collage of different things that you're doing at the same time because it will like enhance you know your picture and then people want people want to see that you know people want to see what you're doing like how you're working they want to like people get motivated off of that stuff and so you can definitely do that you can definitely use instagram to to use the filters you can use the sophisticated um text and fonts and you can definitely use the collages because that helps me very very well and that helps me to enhance more of my photos and then it brings more viewers and audience in because it motivates them to even start or begin their business or whatever they're trying to begin so i definitely recommend that y'all use instagram the next one i chose was pixar pixar is also great for collages youtube thumbnails and banners transparent backgrounds and for creating your own templates pix arts is great it's great for it has like a little border like if you want to add little borders around your pictures around your thumbnails around your photos you can definitely do that especially around your videos if you want to do something like that like add borders add emojis and filters and you know it still has all that good stuff and it's also great for transparent backgrounds as well because that's what i use it for but y'all know that photos has a whole transparent thing that you can do now all you got to do is click on the thing but pixar is also great for transparent back p and well png backgrounds which is transparent backgrounds so i definitely recommend that you use pixar if you want to have transparent backgrounds if you want to add borders to your photos and videos I definitely recommend that you use Pixar. Going into the next one, photos. And this is this is a funny one, right? But it's photos, basically photos, which is your gallery. It's also a great editing app when it comes to enhancing your videos and pictures. You can also use the markup app located at the top right of your photos app. So yes, your photos app, yes, your whole gallery is a whole editing place to edit your stuff. 
so you can definitely use photos it has like brightness it has brilliance it has tone it has so many things that you can use from to enhance your video to enhance your pictures to enhance that thumbnail that banner your profile picture it has so many things that you can use yes your whole gallery has things that you can use so don't hesitate to use your own gallery to like enhance your pictures and videos and stuff like that filters is not necessarily enhancing because yes it's enhancing but you don't have to use filter to enhance your photos you don't have to always add filter but you should definitely use your gallery to add your photos and videos because that definitely works so yes use your photos and last but not least y'all the last app that i put up here was tiktok tiktok is great for influencers who want to make short reels and videos and it also provides nice fonts adjusting transitions fine tuning your auto levels and opportunities to enhance your brand i know that there are many negative effects to tiktok if you stay on it for too long but when you're on it for the right reasons then you can really get some work done then you can really make money then you can really not see it as such of a negative thing so Somebody can look at an app so negative but it's how you use it it's, it's your motives and intentions behind using the app so many people just get on tiktok just to waste their time just to keep scrolling but actually do something with your life actually get up actually make content actually make money from your content you know what i'm saying like just think bigger so i definitely recommend that y'all use tiktok because tiktok has many filters it has many sound adjustments if you can you can literally do whatever you want on tiktok but I definitely recommend it for influencers who want to make like short videos and post it on YouTube because I see that a lot. But it's not only for y'all, it's for everyone. But I definitely recommend that y'all use TikTok. And so that was my last app. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that this encouraged you to just jumpstart that business, jumpstart that YouTube channel, jumpstart that whatever you are about to do. I just pray that I motivated you. Well, not me, not that I motivate you, but I pray that these apps help you to start whatever God is calling you to do or whatever God has placed on your heart to begin, but you didn't have the right tools to use it. So I hope all these apps and this one website helped y'all. And all these apps and this one website will be linked in the description if you want to get to it faster instead of just looking it up, even though that's easier. But if you just want to, you know, click the link, you can do that. But anyway, it'll be in the description. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all already know what I'm saying. Love God, love others. And baby, don't forget to love yourself. I love y'all and I will see y'all in my next video. Stay blessed, be blessed, and be a blessing to someone else. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video.